little tutorial on how to use Google Forms to create anecdotal records and then use a couple scripts or add-ons on the Google Forms to then have them append to documents linked to a student. So first of all you want to go to create and you want to go to a form and uh, you look here add-ons are new now on forms and it's right here so first of all always title your documents so we'll call this um, anecdotal tutorial and go OK and then we'll click on add-ons now unfortunately I've already added them on but what you'll do is you'll go here and you'll go to get add-ons and you'll search for uh, form uh, oh, they're not here because I already have them. Yeah, oh, form values right here. Uh, you need that one, and you also need doc appender, which is right here. And I've already added them, but you would click uh, like this one. It will say free. You click on that, and you attach it to your uh, sheets. And you don't have to do that for each sheet now, like you used to for scripts, but um, they're already there. So you add on, and there they go. Uh, you want to do some back work before you really start though and you want to go to add-ons you want to go to form values and use and create choices and once you are here you will then uh, create and edit value lists so um, I'll just go down here and we'll create a, whoop, a test so uh, what you're doing here, and this will be a test class, because when you're doing anecdotal records, you want to attach class names for this. So here, uh, hopefully you already have a spreadsheet, and you can just cut and paste into here. But if you don't, the first time you'll have to type. So student1, student2, student3, etc., etc., etc. We'll go to 4, but you would have your whole class in there. And there you would have. Now, when you're using form values, you put all your... Uh, all your question answers all in, in in this sheet so you can use them over and over and over again. So once they're there you're done and you can go back to your Google form and uh, you can start making your questions. So for anecdotal you'll probably want your first question to be student name and then uh, you want it to be a choose from list and that's why we created that list in form values. We're going to eventually add that on and there you go and uh, why not add that on now so we're going to go to refresh here just because we added uh, that new list in uh, the uh, in the form values we look here and um, oh interesting it's not there oh test class way down here that's exactly what we want we're going to click on that and we'll notice that once we submit everything was put into that question so it's there it's good to go uh, so you have student name that will be your drop down menu and then uh, you can add other questions as you go um, you, you might want a subject one uh, so you can do that so we can have that again that should probably be a drop down menu or a choose from list to save your time and we'll go here and uh, I don't have one for subjects yet so we'll go back to form values and we'll add a subject one just in case we have to make more anecdotal after. So we're going to do math, uh, reading, writing, uh, social studies, science, uh, history, uh, geography, and whatever else you want, phys ed, phys ed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll put that there. You'll go back to your form. You'll have to refresh again if it's if you just put it in there so it's there. And for this one, you want to populate all the way down with subjects so it is there. Submit. Did not work. Let's try that again. Oh, we don't all oh, look at what I did. I forgot to change that. So that has to be subject. So we submit. Now it populates. And if you look up here in um, my student name now, I've 
accidentally put those in. So we'll go back here, go back to test class and submit. There we go. So that's good, that's good. And then we'll have to add one more item for our comment. And we push done. And once that is all set up, then what we can do is you have to go to drive and you could probably do this at the beginning of the year and use it for all your um, all your students. So you'll have to create a folder and the folder will be um, anecdotal records. I'm just going to put test by here so I can find it and delete it after and I create and then I want to in my anecdotal records I want to create Google Docs for each one of my students that I'm going to collect on. So these names in your Google Docs have to be exactly the same as the ones in your list in your form values for it to work correctly. So I just did student one. So we're going to have one for that. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to create a new doc and it's going to be student two. Okay. And of course, guess what? Another doc. I think I had four students in the other one, so we'll do four here. Oh. Student three. We're going to delete that. We don't need that in there. And last but not least, we have um, create one more for student four. Read right just popped up and took me off there. That's okay. Student four. Okay. And we're good. So now we can go back after we set that up. Set that up at the beginning of the year and you can get all your anecdotal records, your parent communication, behavior log, all sent to that one file. Um, you can come here and then we want to X off the form values because we've already used those. Next we're going to go to our add-on that we put called uh, Doc Appender and we open sidebar. And we have this. So um, you want to create a target doc folder, and you can create a new one, or you can pick from the drive. And we just created it there. So if I pick from drive, I want, uh, I just made it so it's there, so it makes it easy, but you could search for it here. You click on it and you select. So there it is. And um, interestingly, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but if I create new, I don't know if it'll populate from student name. We can maybe try that next if I wanted to try a new one. So we go next, and then it says choose the multiple choice list or checkbox question that determine which documents to append the form submissions. And we want to uh, refresh the list. So when we click on it, and one comes up, and we want student name. And then we have to click this, save and populate selected question. So now it just did its magic and we go next and now what do we want to include when it appends it to that doc we made when it, when it adds it on so probably a date timestamp so we can go back even though it will be in chronological order you don't have to include the student name because it is attached to their own doc and that's a little redundant but hey we'll put it on uh, subject of course and the comment and you can choose from these uh, that it will append to. It could be a bulleted list or, or a table. I'm going to choose a table and I enable. And there you go. So once you have this all set up, uh, if you're in class and you're on a live form and you're sitting there and you're working and you notice something you want to make a comment on, you can go, oh, student one, I uh, notice this in reading, comment, he is success fully breaking words into chunks uh, but needs to work on suffixes uh, making it up from here on and we submit and then what happens when we go back to our folder and we click on student one who we made that in it should be appended right here. So yeah, we just fill out that life form and it automatically goes into the student one docs. So let's see later that day, 
I noticed that student one, this time in math, um, needs to uh, work on uh, nine times tables. Okay, uh, and we submit. And next time we go here and look at that, it puts it on so it keeps a record of all your anecdotals uh, as you go. Um, I think me personally, I would like one for each subject. So uh, you just use that folder we created and we make a copy of it uh, at the beginning of the year, make a master folder of this one. And every time we wanted new anecdotal records, we would um, label like anecdotal anecdotal rec anecdotal records math 8c and then i would uh, have all my students there and i would append new things to new docs and do it that way um, while we're here why don't we just try this though so if we go back to here and we make a copy and we copy that <clears throat> i want to see if we create a new one if it will uh make our own docs for us because that would save us time and i haven't tried that yet so uh if you'll notice here uh, when you make a copy uh it doesn't link back to the spreadsheet you did which is great so we're going to call this anecdotal tutorial uh create folder so we go okay and we have it there now uh this remains the same it should be yeah student one like it still going to those uh, subject good that's all good now when I go to my add-on and I go to doc appender let's try to create from a new drive folder name anecdotal records test 2 okay so next, and then uh, let's refresh this list, and we go here, let's go student name. I don't know if it's going to link to those. Yeah, so no, it's not going to work. So you have to go back and put those files in there. So even though you can create a, 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 you can create a folder that way, you'll have to have a master where you can dump in uh, docs to use for your students. So there you go. Uh, anecdotal records using um, the forms value and the uh, doc appender.